Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told which of the following functions f has a removable discontinuity at a. If the discontinuity is removable, find a function g that agrees with f for x is not equal to a and is continuous at a. So, right, for example, we have f of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 1 over x minus 1. And if we plug in a value of 1, you'll see we're dividing by 0. So what we have to do here is take our function x to the fourth minus 1 is x to the fourth minus 1 to the fourth over x minus 1. This is x squared squared minus 1 squared squared. This is therefore equal to the difference of two squares. So you add the two things being squared, x squared plus 1 squared, and then you subtract them, x squared minus 1 squared over x minus 1. We have another term of difference of two squares, so this is x squared plus 1 squared. You add the two things being squared, x plus 1, and then you subtract them, x minus 1 over x minus 1. And here we can remove the discontinuity by eliminating a term in the top and bottom. And therefore we get x squared plus 1 squared times x plus 1. This is your function g of x. And since we were able to come to a function that has quote unquote removed the discontinuity, we can say that the discontinuity at a is removable. In b, we have a similar situation. We have f of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 2x over x minus 2. So we have x cubed x squared x, so we can factor out an x from the numerator. That leaves us with x squared minus x minus 2 over x minus 2. Now we want to factor this, so we have x times, factoring this trinomial, we're going to have two separate terms. Two numbers that add, mul sorry, um, multiply to negative 2, add to negative 1, that is um, negative 2 and positive 1. So we have x plus 2, or sorry, x times x plus 1 times x minus 2 over x minus 2. This cancels and we get x times x plus 1, this is equal to your g of x, and therefore once again it's removable. In C, we have f of x is equal to sine of x in these brackets. What does that mean? Well, these brackets denote the greatest integer function, which states that the value of this function, you take the sine at a certain point, and then you say, what is the greatest integer that is less than or equal to that value? So if you're at an integer, well, the, less, the greatest integer that's less than or equal to it is just the one that's equal to it. So at the integer values, this is just equal to sine of x. And then for all other values, it sort of drops to the next lowest integer. So if sine of x is like 0 0.5, you plug in 0 0.5, the greatest integer that's less than or equal to 0 0.5 is 0. So what this happens is, if you imagine the graph of sine, right, it looks a little something like this. What this turns into is a series of points or okay at this point we're equal to one so the function is equal to one there right, and I'll draw it down here at this point the function is equal to one okay then for all these points in between here and where it crosses the origin right where okay the greatest integer again lines up with integers at that point for all these points the greatest integer that is less than or equal to it is the one right under it zero so the function therefore goes from zero to um, from this point pi over two to this point pi. And then for this entire point, the least, the uh, greatest, com um, greatest integer less than or equal to it is negative one. At negative one, the value is negative one. And then we continue here until we hit zero and we're back up here again. And so what we can see is that, um, and just to fill in the positive side, we don't do the negative side, these values are also all zero. So we can see that there are removable discontinuities and non-removable ones. 
right? And what we're saying here is that at x equals pi, right? So if a cycle of x is 2 pi, this is 2 pi, this is pi. This is the discontinuity that we're talking about here, where at uh, x equals pi, the sine of x goes from positive to negative. And therefore, the greatest integer less than or equal to sine of x goes from 0 to 1, and it just jumps. So therefore, we can say that this is not a removable discontinuity. So we have A is removable with that g of x, B is removable with that g of x, and C is not removable, and therefore has no g of x.